In 2011, the North American drum and bass scene will be experienced like never before. Drum and bass, a music genre still in its teens, inspiring emotions, creating energy, and stimulating the senses. The American Jungle Crew will embark on a journey to discover the North American drum and bass culture and its local scenes. Drum and bass, drum and bass, drum and bass. America loves drum and bass. Drum and bass has become a lot more globalized recently. You know, I think I think the scene in, in North America is quite similar to the scene in, in England. Non-stop break that drives you to insanity. And to this day, you know, people are like, yo, are you gonna play some drum and bass? It's very much alive though still. I mean, obviously you've still got hardcore fans. Once I started playing drum and bass, all of a sudden the crowd was really into it. Drum and bass, I don't think there's any other tempo you can compare to that. I still got mad love for drum and bass. These fucking drums, fast ass drums. Still drum and bass in a lot of different uh, genres of music. 12 Planet, it's a dubstep guy that like came from drum and bass and I know he's waiting to kind of like integrate it back in. The heads of the electro scene and the heads of the dubstep scene, and they've all come from a drum and bass background, so everyone shares that common bond. We have to evolve, we have to move forward. And I think the drum and bass will keep moving forward. This scene has seen cycles like this many times before, you know, we've been here before and we've survived and we've got bigger and better because of it. Drum and bass, tear your face off kind of vibe. It is a real fine line between the love and hate relationship of MCs and DJs. There are new producers springing up all over the place. The best drum and bass that I've ever heard is the drum and bass that's coming out right now. Being bad feels pretty good. Anytime something's bothering me or anytime I'm upset or, or I just need to think about things, if I play some drum and bass, it helps sort things out sick of hearing these people be like, oh, you're not spinning vinyl, you know. I still hear that. Deport is off the chain right now. Yeah. Base. yeah, you know, like when I feel the inspiration to work on drum and bass, I'm gonna get back into it. We wanted to hear more drum and bass in Denver. And the only way to do that was to take charge. You know, yeah. drum and bass is definitely alive and well in Colorado. Oh, yeah. For sure. Definitely. Step. Drum and bass versus jungle. You play to the dubstep crowd and you're bringing some drum and bass, they love it as well. They do really good things if, uh, if drum and bass and dubstep just come together and work together. When I see dubstep guys drop drum and bass stuff and people go insane, like, they're still there, you know? And that's keeping them around. And I think drum and bass has kind of uh, implanted itself into the rest of music as a whole. As far as the future drum and bass, what I deal with on a daily basis is a lot of positive people. People in North America, I think, were so passionate about drum and bass because it was kind of the an antithesis of rave 